Shalom, shalom. This is Fawn Yeshua. Welcome again to The Rock. And uh, we are here in our multi-purposed room, stove room, something like that. Haven't really gotten a name for it yet. Um, and we're putting rice in, uh, in, in bags. And people may ask, you know, why are we, why am I using bags? Now, I've used Mylar bags and I still use Mylar bags. But um, I package quite a bit of food in those. And we mix in some DE, some bay leaves, and uh, they store well. I've opened up bags that were a couple years old and no problems with them as long as you mix the DE and um, uh, bay leaves in them. And then we tape, we seal the uh, top of the bag. So there's a tape we use, just some multi-purpose tape, some bay leaves. There's DE in there, and then your plastic bag. And since I'm putting these in buckets or, you, or in containers, you know, not necessarily buckets, but containers, I'm not really worried about holes in the bag because um, it's going to be encased in a much stronger enclosure. Um, but I found this to be a very effective way. I mean, I've stored tons of food in buckets without oxygen absorbers, without mylar bags, just DE and bay leaves, and I've had success, uh, much success. I actually haven't had any failures yet, thank the Father. But um, so right now we have Sister Ebony, Shalom. Sister Tai Tai, and they're going to be showing. So this is how I'm showing y'all about what we do. It's a family affair, you know. Preparedness is a family affair. I'm only actually here for the video to really do that talking portion. Just to let y'all know why I use the plastic bags. Otherwise, they would have done this video by themselves. But, um, they, are, they obviously understand why we do it. But, you know, they wanted me to explain it. They said, you can explain it better. I said, alright. So, here we are. They're going to be showing you one of the ways. And this is what they're going to be doing uh, after the end of the video. I don't store the food really anymore. They do it all. They handle it all themselves. Uh, I just tell them, hey, got some rice or got some beans or I got some wheat. You know, I need y'all to put this, get that, 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 and they do it. All right, so. Got some in there, right there. Watch as she pours the rice into the bag. We already, we filled it up halfway and we'll put DE in it, mix it around, and then we'll uh, finish filling it up and put some more DE in it just to make sure it's, the DE is nice and mixed in there. Gosh, he's back. Oh, gosh. This video's not supposed to be about him. Oh, gosh. This video's not about you. <laughs> and, 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 I mean, Jesse saw right there, that's one of the reasons why it's very important to make sure you're putting food back. Now, obviously, there's a, there's a difference between storing food and food production. Which one is this? Are we storing food or are we producing food right now? Storing. Uh, see, they even get it. If someone has has said production, I would have edited that out. We're producing. Oh gosh, he's eating the tape. You can't eat the tape. Look at the look at the drool mark. You see how shiny it is right there? That's because he ate the tape. So one of those 20 pound bags does what, six? Uh, three. Three. Oh, does three. So one 20 pound bag of rice does three of these. Three gallons. And again, we do these bags because we are storing them in uh, larger containers, so it's easier for us. We haven't had any bugs hatch, any uh, uh, bad rice, obviously. Sometimes the rice may come out a little discolored, after 10 years of, of storage, um, but it still tastes the same. So now after, they're not, they've already done half the bag, you saw when we started the video, and they already mixed DE in it. So now, they're, what, 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 what's about to happen, y'all? We're about to put DE on top and mix it around, and then add our bay leaves. So it looks like they're doing two scoops of DE. That was the formula they came up with. I didn't come up with that. <laughs> the 
Taylor said she she mixes it uh, before she. Um, uh, by she said she was mixing it by hand. She said mix the D in the bag, just shaking the background. She actually does it by hand, which actually makes sense. But you just can't wipe your face with it because, especially right below your nose, because if you mix it with your hand and wipe right below your nose, you're gonna have white powder underneath right below your nose. It's gonna look real suspicious, real suspicious. So they they did two. Uh, scoops of the DE. Now they're mixing it in with the rice. And since I've been doing this method, I've stored rice, like I said, in buckets, mylar bags, without oxygen absorbers, and I haven't had any issues. Now this is food grade DE. This is food grade diatomaceous earth. Just, just to make sure that y'all have an understanding, they sprinkle some bay leaves. Just to tell you, have you ever done anything like this before? No, Master. Never done anything like this before. How, how about you, Ebony, before you came here? Before we got married? No, yeah. Master. Neither one of them, and now they're experts. I can literally buy it, bring it, stack it, and they handle it. Uh, and then we, all we do is we date. Who wrote that? That was me. That was impressive. Thank you, Matt. That's definitely not, see, people in the medical field don't write that nice. They write chicken scratch. Wait, did you write that way just because it's the, the, the video? She's oh, like, I, I, I gotta have, I gotta represent my writing really good. So then you were like, let me, let me pull up my best kidmanship. No, <laughs> I don't know if you ever seen them, them, them retire nurses when they write. You don't know what they wrote. I remember, I remember trying to read nurses' notes when they used to do it on paper, not on the computer. I said, I don't know what the heck this person wrote. I had no clue what they wrote. I said, what? what Taylor did. Is that how you wrote? When you were at work? Yes, master. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so after uh, that, after they seal the bags, the de ease mix, the bay leaves are in there. This is not electrical tape. This is basically like they, they call a multi purpose tape. It's really, really cheap. You can use, I'm sure you can use any type of tape. This is what we found works for us. It's really, really sticky. It's like a dollar a roll. Actually, it was 79 cents a roll. As you can see. Make sure to tape it close to where the opening is so more comes in the opening instead of in the back. Oh, okay. Seal it. All right. Taylor just explained that. You see that? I didn't even know that. I just told them, yeah, I got some tape for the storage. We're always trying, we're, we're always trying to find, I guess, methods that work really well. For food storage, we tried many methods, and I'm gonna be honest. For us, as long as we put DE in it and bay leaves, it's worked. Beans, although we don't really do beans anymore. Uh, wheat, berries, rice, uh, oatmeal. Um, gosh, uh, amaranth. It works. Flax seeds. And also, it's, it's important that, that, uh, that, again, men, we make our, our vision very clear so that they can follow it. It's important that we make our vision clear because look at them. They just, they on it. Like I said, again, outside of doing the, the speaking part, because they said it would be a lot harder um, to try and shoot the video and talk. Uh, that's the only reason I'm here. They got this. I can't tell you how many hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bags They've done.
we haven't had any holes poked. Yes, I think I said it already. If I haven't said it, uh, what Evian was saying was, um, obviously one of the concerns you have in using plastic bags like this is holes and then air getting into the bag. But we have, we put these in containers. So the hard plastic containers prevent any holes from, you know, anything for poking through or anything like that. You can put these in buckets. You can use these in, in uh, the Rubbermaid totes if you wanted to. We put these in uh, large containers. Um, and it works out really well. You see, look, look, they, they knocked this out. Just like that. That is uh, 40 pounds of rice right there. Hallelujah. So, an easy way to store food, but more importantly, make sure your family's in on it. They should understand what you're doing, why you're doing. They should be able to explain it. Y'all, can y'all explain why we're doing this? What, what, why we're doing it? <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. When that time comes. Hallelujah. I mean, you, you, want, you want to add anything to that? No, I'm, like, no, I'm good. <laughs> All right. So make sure you're putting it back. Make sure your family's in on it. Make sure everybody understands it, what you're doing, why you're doing it. And um, it's part of it. All right. Bless y'all. Shalom.